This is video 25.4. We will be solving a problem with thin film interference. The question. White light reflected from an optically coated lens appears bluish green. Assume the coating has an index of refraction of 1.28 and the lens has an index refraction of 1.5. What is the minimum thickness the coating could have? So here what's happening is that light is incident on the coating lens combination. Some of the light is reflected right away. Some of the light enters the coating, reflects off the lens coating boundary, and then passes out. There's also some light that goes through the coating and goes through the lens, but this is not the light we're interested in. We're just interested in the light that is reflected off the coating and the lens. We'll start by problem solving. The incident light was said to be white light, which means it contains light of many different frequencies. In order for it to appear bluish green after reflection, it means that there's been constructive interference for light of wavelength around 520 nanometers. And in order for this to occur, the light rays drawn in the diagram below, one which just reflects off the coating and two which goes into the coating and reflects off the lens must be out of phase by 360 degrees. That is totally out of phase. It could be out of phase by 720 degrees or some higher multiple of 360, but we're just looking for the minimum thickness that the coating could have. So therefore, we only want them to be out of phase by 360 degrees. First, let's calculate the phase change of the light reflected off the outside of the coating, that is light ray 1. Light that reflects off a medium with a higher index of refraction has a phase change of 180 degrees. So, independent of the wavelength, all frequencies of light that reflect off the coating have a phase change of 180 degrees. Now we'll calculate the phase change of the light reflected off the inside of the coating, that is light ray 2. First of all, light ray 2 also has a 180 degree phase change when it bounces off the coating lens boundary. And because light ray 1 and light ray 2 both have 180 degree phase changes upon their reflection from the boundaries, independent of the wavelength, they do not contribute to an overall phase difference. Remember, we're interested in having an overall phase difference of 360 degrees for constructive interference of light of 520 nanometers. So the phase difference, however, does come from the path length difference. Light ray 2 has to travel farther because it goes inside of the coating and then bounces back outside of the coating. The path length difference is just 2t. It's twice the thickness of the coating because it goes in and then bounces out. And we want to set this equal to the wavelength of the light inside of the coating. And when light is inside of media with different indices of refraction, its wavelength changes. And it changes by being divided by n, so that lambda inside the coating is actually lambda over n, where lambda is the wavelength outside of the coating in air. So rearrange, we want to solve for the minimum thickness of the coating. So t is equal to lambda over 2n. We plug in what we know with 520 nanometers and we have that the thickness is 203 nanometers. However, we could have also had constructive interference if the path length was some other multiple of lambda, say 2 lambda, 3 lambda, 4 lambda. So any integer multiple of 203 nanometers would give us constructive interference for light of wavelength 520 nanometers. However, we were asked for the minimum 
and the minimum is 203 nanometers. And that concludes video 25.4. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.